welcome to my channel again today if you are on this video you are most likely a first-time mom and you are here to know what and what you should buy especially when you're on a budget for your delivery for your baby without having to spend money on things that are necessarily not useful So moving on to the next thing is, of course, diapers. Diapers. Never make the mistake of stocking diapers in the house. I'll tell you why. There are a couple of reasons. One, you really cannot exactly tell how big your baby is going to be. And then, two, you most likely will be seeing a lot of diapers. Like, that's most likely what almost every person is going to Like, the default Nigerian mindset is when I'm going to visit a woman who just puts it there, the only thing I can buy is diaper. Yeah. So you're going to be able to see a lot of diapers. So don't bother. I bought just one pack of diaper, which was at about 90 species, and I received a lot of diapers that I used to kill out about three months. So, and the beautiful part of it is that I received different sizes, there were other sizes, so it made it easy for me. But then killer um quickly outgrew the size, the newborn size. So I had to move to the next size. Yeah, so if you stock too much on your diaper, if your baby house grows it, it's going to be a waste. And then you're going to receive more. So just one pack is okay. And then you can buy other packs later when the gifts you have given are finished. Next thing is wipes. Just like diapers, you really don't need so much. One cup of wipes is fine. Or one pack is fine for starters because you're also going to receive a lot of wipes. A lot of diapers, a lot of wipes, a lot of detergents. Those are most likely the things they're going to be giving you as gifts. Yeah. So then the next one is baby cot. Now you see this matter. Eh. <laughs> we are still fighting about it in my house. Baby cot is not necessary. If you have the money to afford it, no problem. But if you're working on the budget and you are trying to manage what you have, just scrap that out. You don't need it. When I bought my cut, it was beautiful. My husband saw it online and liked it, and then he bought it. I bought it for the cut and the bed in the court was roughly 30k. Like I feel like I should have I could have used that money to do something else. But then it doubles as a baby cut and as a playpen. So I want to tell myself that she's going to use it as she grows older so that I can turn it, convert it into a playpen instead. So she can use it for her play, whatever, put her toys in it. Then baby bed. The baby bed, just try to buy a baby bed that comes with the net, with the baby net on it, so that you can put that in the middle of your bed with your spouse and then you don't have to you don't really need the cut. So just put that in the middle of that bed. It's usually not very expensive, about three thousand, two thousand, depending on what type you are buying. Another very important item is the baby clothes. You do not want to um, buy a lot of baby clothes that the baby is really not going to need. For starters, what you need are onesies and slip suits. So buy slip suits. That's really what you need. It's still a newborn, so it's not as if you are going to they are, you are going for a party or anything. And even if you are going for a party, you're still going to wrap the baby up, so nobody's going to see what baby is wearing. So slip suits are very important, and onesies then socks, mittens, caps. Flannels, that's also called receiving clothes. Wash clothes, those are very important. You want to get them. Now, if you do not mind, you might want to get fairly used ones. Fairly used ones, I heard they are very durable and very. So, I don't know why I didn't buy them. I bought new ones. My husband would let me, even though I would have loved to, because I know they have quality ones. Actually, when you buy the grade one, if you want to buy, there are places that you can buy at um, Yanoba, there's a place there, you can go to Supa, you can go to Aswani and all those places I believe they have where they sell good ones there that will last you for a long time. And the beautiful thing about secondhand clothes are that you see designs that you can find in first hands and in new ones and then also you see sizes. I remember that I was looking for small size, newborn size of a one for killer and I couldn't find in the new one 
except I had to go and buy a um, mocha can. My husband wasn't didn't want that, so I just had to scrap the idea. Another very important thing that you must buy is nail cutter. Baby's nails grow so fast. Like I, right now, I cut glasses like every two, two days. Like baby's nails grow very fast, so you are going to be needing a nail cotton set. Then the baby bath, of course, you need a baby bath to bath your baby. Please don't bath your baby in general bathroom. You need a baby bath. Then skincare products. I use Mo Baby. Yeah, I came across a page on Instagram. I fell in love with the product and everything. As far as I'm concerned, I'm, I'm, I'm an ambassador for that product. Like I tell everybody that cares to hear. Product is an organic product. You can check them out. It's beautiful. I'm going to put the link down below so you can check them out. It's, it's a beautiful product and it works for all skin types for babies. They have different products that you can work for. So, thankfully, Killer has very sensitive skin. She took after her father. Very sensitive skin. So, that product actually worked well for us. Okay, apart from because there's, the weather is really very hot now, I actually had to pour she has rashes and all. I had to pour some creams and oils and all of that stuff. So, they have a variety of products. You might want to check them out. One other thing I won't tell you is if you do not have the money, please do not waste money on skincare products. Your baby's skin really doesn't need all your physique. Find an organic product that is not too expensive, or better still, there are a lot of options. Find it. I heard that coconut oil, shea butter are nice, but I don't think that I want to use raw, undiluted coconut oil or shea butter on my baby's skin. Okay, so my baby was really very white. And I think shea butter will kind of tan. I hope you found this video useful. Feel free to check out my other videos and please kindly subscribe. Namaste.